Hello everybody, welcome back to another brand new Aviation Jack video. Hope you're doing really well. So, we're about to do the return flight back to Belgrade from Copenhagen Airport. Uh, we do have ATC on still, and uh, we're at the stand that we depart, um, arrived on last time. So today's flight time is expected to be around 2 hours and 17 minutes, about 779 nautical miles. Our call sign today is Air Serbia 3 Whiskey, and uh, we're on Batsim Network, which is good. And that is everything that we are doing. Um, in terms of flight, we've already exported the flight plan. So all we have to do now is get into the flight deck and start planning the flight. So you now join me in the flight deck of the A320, raining Copenhagen, might I add. <laughs> so we need to start planning our flight plans. So we're going to do that now. As you can see, it's already come through. No, that's the wrong one. That's not the flight we're flying today. <laughs> uh, no, the flight plan we're actually flying today is three whiskey. Hopefully that pops through. No, okay. So it's AS. It's got the one for my live stream, which I've done. Our flight number today is JU3 Whiskey. J. Do, 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 do. Where's the J? JU003 Whiskey. There we go. So I'm hoping that comes through. If we do an initialized data request. Yes, it does. Cool. Right, so that's all of our details for the flight time, so for the flight. If we now do a IRS init align confirm over on the left MCDU, I think if we now, we don't click anything there because that's good. We'll go to the OFP data, make sure all of this is good. The sad time departure we're going to say is 13 o'clock or 1 o'clock. Nice, we're going to do an instant fuel, we'll press send. Usually I use GSX, but like when you're tight on time, it's just, nah, not today. Um, and then we can do the boarding page, and then on the boarding, to me this looks not good. Do a bit of change. Uh, the cargo's fine. We're going to board now, and request. Then hopefully that is all good, and we start boarding. Yep, nice. Now we're going to come over to this side, we can't do this just yet actually because we haven't got all of our weights on. If we look at our uh, flight plan, I don't think we'll be able to get rid of that, oh we can. So the current departure runway from Copenhagen, if we go to the ATIS, which is actually online, the current departing runway here is departure runway 22 right, so we're going to do 22 right, there we go, and then we are on the SID, the SIMI 8 Charlie apparently, this one here. I think what we'll do is we can request clearance first before we start doing any of that. So let's come down here. 118, the small one. 28, Let's just do a quick uh, scratch pad. So we are an A320. Air Serbia. Air Serbia 3 Whiskey. A320. Stand Charlie 37. QNH 1012. And info. What's the current information here? Information uh, in DR. Uh, what is it? What is all we need to do? Right oh yeah, we're going to Belgrade. Uh, uh, right, so let's request the clearance. Tower Air Serbia 3 Whiskey requesting clearance to Belgrade to an A320 on stand Charlie 37, QNH 1012 and we have information in India. Uh, so we have three whiskey, uh, please refile your flight plan, I don't seem to have it. Uh, it's gone. This keeps happening, I don't know why it's not filing. Lufthansa Cargo 1, 3, clear to cross, cross runway, 2, 2, left. Uh, so we have three whiskey, I have your flight plan now, Wait. you are cleared to destination. Seeming gate, Charlie, departure runway, 2, 2, right, squawk, 4747. Okay, clear to um, Belgrade, Simi 8 Charlie departure, 2 2 right, and swap 4747. Uh, Serbia 3 Whiskey. Uh, Serbia 3 Whiskey, read back correct. Nice, so there was a departure that we originally thought, the Simi 8 Charlie. Insert, and then Squawk is 4747. Which is good. So that is all loaded in, which is perfect. And then in terms of boarding, we are boarding now. We can't see any passengers because um, for some reason the jetway is not working for us, or like we're not actually there, which is fine, fair enough. As you can see, there's an S7 Airlines next to us on the um, left. The doors are open at least, but we can't see any passengers. 
There's actually a few CRJs around. I wonder if they're on MSFS. I bet they are. It, yeah. Okay, so I'll leave it there, wait till it's completed, and then I will see you all for the push and start sequence. Right guys, so the building has just completed, so we're now good for uh, the perfect quest to start loading that. So let's get back into the flight deck. And then we're going to go to our load sheet here, and we're going to quickly do a bit of details down here. So we're going to need the table frame for 67.5, and then the MAC tower, which is 32. There we go. That's all we need from that, I'm pretty sure. And then if Next we go in, to the uh, perf request, which is here, you can see H runway 22 right for departure. Um, Anti-ice, do we need anti-ice? What's the temperature? 6 degrees, no, it should be alright. Um, the wet, sorry. Yes. Wind, still not exactly the calm, is stay here. 1012 in the Q&H, and the temperature is 6 degrees. Um, this is all good. I'm happy with that. So yeah, takeoff weight is 67.5 And the Mac tower is indeed 32 So we're going to send that through Hopefully, there we go, and we'll wait for that And then we can do our perf over here So we'll go to our receive messages Wait for it to pop through While we're doing that, we'll get the master switch on Wait for or see what sounds on as well. Switch this to VOR, and then we set altitude to. Oh, what cruise? What are we actually cruising now? Flight level three five zero. Good afternoon. Information: Juliet just became clear to, to Munich. CMIC eight Charlie departure runway two two right squawk two zero one seven. Should be able to clear all that actually. Right, so the flap is open, so we'll press start on the APU, and then here we are, the receive messages for our perf requests. So the V1 is 153, check that, yep, 153 and 154. Uh, the flap's 1 with the trim of down 0 0.8, and our flex temperature is 70, or is that 78? 70. 70 on the flex temp, perfect. Uh, the transition altitude, just going to double check that really quickly. Flight summary, yeah, it's 5,000 feet. Good. So 5,000 feet, which is perfect. Nice, I'm impressed. Everything is done. Good. Actually, no, it's not. In it page. There we go. Now it's all good. Right, so it's waiting for the APU to start. We're going to get the beacon light on ready. APU is available. APU bleed on. We're going to get rid of the... Sorry, not that one. We're going to uh, additional services, dismiss the GPU. Oh, look at that. What plane is this? Can we tell by the engine? Not quite. It's like a Thomas Cook kind of engine. Oh, there's the Air France. It went down there. Who is that aircraft in front of us? There's an Iceland Air. Oh, Iceland Air. It's actually really busy here. I don't realise it would be this. Two ice and air 757s, very nice. Lift down there. One, three, is that a Delta? No. What is that? It's a CRJ, but is that a Continental or something? Oh, Lift Hansa. And the Air France down there as well. It's a fair bit of traffic going on. Right, there goes the GPU, which is good. Beacon Knight is on, that's happy. Okay, so I'm happy for push and start now. So if we prepare for pushback and departure, yes, no. Due to icing conditions, please stand by for engine start until push completed. Lufthansa 139er, taxi holding point Alpha 1 via, uh, correction, Alpha 1 runway to the right via Yankee Mike to Alpha. So we're going to wait until we can obviously get requested clearance. Uh, we're ready for pushback. Uh, we're ready for and start. Uh, SOBR three whiskey. SOBR three whiskey pushing south group. Cunard one zero one two. Push and start approving Cunard one zero one two. SOBR three whiskey. Locking gear. 
Right, getting the gear locked. Yeah, Turn the um, control up a bit. Last station calling, say again. Lufthansa 7 Echo Kilo for push start. Lufthansa 7 Echo Kilo push start. Two, three, Straight eight, one, push back. Launcher check completed. Bike has been inserted. Commencing push. Parking brake released. Due to icing conditions, please step by for engine start until push completed and brake set. Starts in engine one. The IAE do take a bit longer than the CFMs, I'm pretty sure, from my experience anyway. Now, just a quick warning, you do know what it's like for me taxiing at Copenhagen, I'm not the best at it. <laughs> it's so, such a confusing airport to taxi around. Hopefully we'll be alright. Hopefully. We can only pray really, can't we? Still waiting on engine one. Okay. How far are we being pushed back, eh? I'd like to stop here. Which we are. I think we're stopping here. It sounds like we are. Yeah. Right, engine one's available. Engine two. Parking brake set. Confirm good engine start. It's now really raining again. <laughs> Weather hasn't changed much since the last time we arrived. Hopefully Belgrade's a bit nicer. I'm not sure about you, but I think I can hear the engines. First, Lufthansa 139 has departure contact Copenhagen approach, 119 decimal 8, with this 280 degrees, 119 knots, runway 22 right, good signal. Left is clear, right is clear. Now I can hear them. A bit better. Not sure why that exactly happened. Um, right, let's return and then go back to the MCDU menu at to AOC receive messages. Cool. Okay, so engine one, engine two is available. So we're going to go taxi lights. Run return of flights. Pack one on. Pack two on. APU bleed and APU off. We're going to set this to normal, flap one, arm the spoilers, and then we're going to go max on the auto brake here, and then we should have to request taxi limit. Before we do that, let's go full left, check, full right, full up, and full down, full rudder left, full rudder right. Then we're also going to set trim down 0.8. That's about right. Right, let's request um, taxi. Oh, we're ready for taxi now, Air Serbia 3 Whiskey. Air Serbia 3 Whiskey, taxi holding for another one, runway 2 to right by Romeo Yankee Foxtrot Alpha Cross, runway 1 2. Alpha 1 by um, Romeo 2 2 right, Romeo Yankee, Foxtrot, Cross Romeo 1 2, out, uh, SOB3 Whiskey. Lufthansa 7 Echo Kilo for taxi. Lufthansa 7 Echo Kilo for taxi. Cool, right, so that's our Lufthansa 7 Echo Kilo. Um, taxi. Stand by if you're so we're just go So we're going through Alpha, so Romeo, which is itching straight nine. down here, and then right onto Yankee, which is what I thought. Siberian 512 um, And then after that is Foxtrot. Which is the second left, and then okay, cool. I've got it. 
I've just about got it. Right, let's go then. So, release the parking brake. Also, I won't film it all because it'll take too long. But, we'll get going. CBN 5129. Departure uh, in uh, Echo India Delta Whiskey is approved. Uh, take off runway to right on uh, speed uh, Oscar Delta Naja 1 Charlie. Initial climb uh, first level 70. Walk. Five, zero, three, six. There we go. This is Yankee here. Siberian 5129, read back correct. Lufthansa 7 Echo Kilo, taxi holding point Alpha 1, runway 2 to right via Romeo Yankee Foxtrot Alpha Cross, runway 1 2. Yeah, Romeo Yankee Foxtrot Cross 1 2, Alpha 1 for uh, Alpha 9 Kilo. South Canadian 1 2, Lake 1, stand Bravo 6, first push to Alpha 1 2, 1 2. And then that's Fox shot there, I believe. Scandinavian 1281, one, set squawk 6225. 6225, Scandinavian 1281. Um, Scandinavian 1281, push and start poop, connect 1012, and just be aware there's another uh, aircraft on frequency with a similar call sign. Yep, this is Fox shot. Thank God. Right. We're doing alright. Right, take off config test. Normal. Gonna get ready for takeoff now, so landing lights on, strobe lights on, and takeoff lights on as well. Whiskey after departure, contact Copenhagen approach, 119.8, wind is 280 degrees, 11 knots, runway 2 to right, cliff takeoff. Cliff takeoff 2 to right, and after uh, departure, contact ap approach departure on 119.8. Thanks so much for your service, SRBA 3 Whiskey. Have a nice flight, bye bye. Scandinavian 1518, cats. Tower, welcome to Copenhagen. Oh god, it's so slippery. Bravo one minor by <laughs> Bravo and Yankee. Cross runway one two. Didn't do that very well, did I? Taxi two two Bravo one niner via Bravo Yankee and cross runway one two. It's gonna be a one five one eight. Thank you. Morning. Good afternoon. Scandinavian one four six two. Stand Bravo seven. Requesting clearance to also. Scandinavian 1462, information, uh, Juliet is pure and clear to Gardamoen, uh, Vida 1 Charlie departure runway 2 to right, Squawk 0523. Okay, here we go. So, let's go 50%. Scandinavian 1462, read back correct. percent stable. Manflex SRS runway, water thrust blue, 80, no, so not 80 knots, is it? 100 knots checked. Too shaky that camera. V1 and rotate. And positive climb rate, gear up. Tower Lufthansa 3, Yankee Alpha Stand Alpha 17 with information to gear requesting push and start. And no free speed. Thank you. Departure as uh, Serbia 3 Whiskey with you, pass it for, uh, sorry, 1200 feet. Serbia 3 Whiskey, go make approach, identify and climb flight 719 for feedback, Siemens. Photo 190, direct Siena, uh, Serbia 3 Whiskey. Okay, so let's go quickly, direct, actually before we do that, autopilot 2. Gonna go climb thrust. And then we're climbing to flight level 190. And then direct Simic. Insert, flight plan. Wipers off. Bye bye, Copenhagen. See you later.
Okay, it flaps up. Do not start the clock like I said I would. <laughs> Very good. So far, it's a good departure. It's gone smoothly. Surprising I got all the waypoints right. The ground charts are so difficult. In reality, it's not that bad. He says. Okay, standard Q and H or standard pressure. It's really turbulent. So once we get to Simic, we should be out of the ATC. That's when we like leave approach, just before Simic, and then after. What's it called? Off that waypoint, we, we shouldn't be on any other ATC because we're just on the edge of um, Poland's ATC. One thousand feet to ten thousand. Unicorn one two two. That's my length. Bye bye. Unicorn one two two. One two two. That's my eight. Thanks for your service. That's over three whiskey. Thanks for playing. There we go. One two two. That's my eight. There we go. And then we can turn off the landing lights now. Good, good, good. I'm going to keep the silver signs on because we're still very um, turbulent. But yeah. Breaking through the clouds. Anyway, guys, I shall leave it there and I'll see you all in the preparing for. Arrival. Enjoy the cinematics and I'll see you all very shortly. Bye bye.
Hello everybody, welcome back to the Fight Deck. So we're going to start planning for the arrival now, as we're not too long until top of the descent. So, LYBE, arrival. The current active runway there is indeed uh, runway 30, so we do ILS 30. And then the current flight plan arrival that we're doing is the RIGMU. RIGMU 2 Lima, insert. Then we'll do the perf request. The QNH currently is QNH 1023. The temperature is 19 degrees, really nice. Nice, 19 degrees, not bad. And the wind is 0 at 3, which is very calm. So I should have a nice arrival in terms of weather. I'll uh, quickly go to my current flight and have a look at the transition altitude, which is 10,000 feet, which is what it says, which is good. Get rid of that discontinuity. We start to descend um, just before Tondu, which is about 180 nautical miles. So not too long until we start descent, thankfully. Okay, I'll see you all to descent. Bye bye. Welcome back. So, literally just got to uh, 10,000 feet or just past 10,000 feet now, and we're about to land into Belgrade. So, we're going to get the landing lights on, taxing takeoff lights and return flights on as well. We've set all to brake low, and the ground spoiler is already armed, but they probably have to come out at some point. As you know, it's not as quick to slow down. What we should have done is actually reduce our speed a bit more. So, we'll reduce speed to 220, and obviously, D cell is there. Yeah, we're going to have to put speed back out <laughs> as soon as I say it, of course. We need it. Got a 10 knot hour wind. Pop in speed brake. Oh, hello. Only been in the air for an hour and 48 minutes. A lot quicker than the last flight. It was like 2 hours 20. We can thank that to the better winds for sure. Then we'll do an open descent now. We'll go uh, 5,000 initially. At um, Tupco, when's when we're going to Tupco? Next waypoint, we should be at 3,001. Was it 3,100? Yeah, 3,100 feet. So we'll set that in. There we go. Nineteen degrees in Belgrade. Very nice weather. It's like summer. Right, so we're just going over. The right, right turn. Look at that, really nice. Feels like a proper arrival, you know. Landing speed is, I believe, was 147 or something like that. Uh, final landing speed, yeah, one, what was it? 137, sorry. Got it wrong. Okay, so the ILS is coming in. We're going to arm the approach. 
also going to pop out the speed brake now so I can put some flaps out and then we can also decel I'm going to decel to 190 for now City of Belgrade to our right. Speed check, flaps one. Hi Norman. Good. Bye bye. Bring in the spiders. Hey, speed check flaps two. Doing the right turn now. Flying up with the runway. So sort of capture the ILS, which is always a good thing. I'm gonna go one sixty. Currently eight miles out. So when we get to four miles, we will uh, reduce speed to our final landing speed. But for now, we're going to go gear down and flaps three. Look how nice this looks. Looks so good. Okay, five did me out. Claps full. And four D out, so we've got four nine speed now. Autopilot disconnect, I have control. One A slight tailwind. Three hundred. Two hundred. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. Ten. Five. 
touchdown. Reverse is green. D cell. Reverse is stowed, manual break in. Welcome to Belgrade. Keep it rolling for a bit. And we'll vacate here. Spot is disarmed and all the flaps can come up as well. One hour, 57 minutes, not bad at all. There we are. So the flaps open, start the APU. Strobe lights off, landing lights off, from return flights off, and taxi lights on. Let's go Alpha 2. APU is available. There's on the APU bleed and taxi lights off as well. Stop there. Parking brake set. Engine one, engine two cut off. There we are. Switch on the dome lights so we can see a bit better. Off with the fuel pumps. Uh, cruise light can stay on. Beacon light and see what signs off as well. There we are, everybody. Flight is completed. Get the jetway connected. There we are. Right, well, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, I will see you all in the next video, whenever that might be. It won't be too long, of course. And um, yeah, I shall see you all again very shortly. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye.